100 yards. Turn left. Turn left. yards. Turn left. Turn left. In 400 yards. Turn left. Turn left. So, I'm here. Where are you? Running late. Sorry. Things are a little wild with the Fiesta de la Luna coming up. Wait, wait. What's the Fiesta de la Luna? It's a full moon tonight, my friend. Horizon's throwing an all-night fiesta at the resort. I thought you and I could attend. Well, I do like a good party. <laughs> you and the rest of Mexico. Nos vemos pronto! So what happens at a full moon party? People celebrate the glory of the moon, of course. There's fireworks and there's music and dancing until the sun comes up. Hola, chicos y chicas. The moon shows us her most beautiful face. And Radio Eterna is flying into Playa Azul for the Fiesta de la Luna. Won't you join us? Head west to the canyons to find a stunt outpost. But tonight, <laughs> Fiesta de la Luna! Explore the party, my friend. Have fun! Half these people came for the fiesta, but the other half came just to see you. Hola, everyone! Did you bring the full moon? I'll bring the big star. I know you don't need help entertaining a crowd, but just in case, I rigged up some pyrotechnics for you. Boom! <laughs> oh, don't worry, they are also cheering for you! Oh man, I love parades! They're always kind of slow though, don't you think? Imagine if we had a few more horses under all those flowers. Hey, 
Buenos dias! The party's not over yet. Let's push this float to its limits. I've gone and set up some PR stunts. Let's see what this float can do. Head for the canyons! Our outpost awaits! Yes! Speed trap! This float can move! Radio Eterna, what a night! But for some, the party keeps on going. This Horizon Parade float is fast. Almost as fast as the handsome young man at the fiesta last night who said hola and then ran off. She remembers me! She remembers me! Did you hear that? Air crew standing by! Everything is ready for your canyon jump! Canyon jump? You can't drive something like this at Horizon and not test it out on a danger site. Let's do this! Rami, this is wild! What did I tell you, my friend? Horizon brings it out in all of us! Good luck! Okay, here we go. Hit the danger sign! Best idea ever. the parade float. Totally worth it though. My plan is to make this the place for PR stunts. So, I'll get to work on the PR and you get stunting. I've already built a load more PR stunts. Which one do you want to try out first? Hola, mi amigo. Juan Garcia's here. I met your amigo Jamin, who runs Horizon Rush. He's very, uh, what's the word? Excitable? Excitable, see, si. that's it. He's been in contact with the university. Come down to Los Jardines, I'll explain. Hey, Angel. Horizon Rush is fully operational. PR stunts are great for the festival, as long as you keep driving so stylishly. Can you do that? Hey, Angel. I've got some adventure plans for you, when you have time. In 200 yards, turn right. Speed zones. Stay on the road and floor it all the way through. your destination. In 400 yards, turn right. 
turn right. In 200 yards, turn left. Turn left. In 200 yards, turn right. Turn right. At the roundabout, take the second exit. Hola. Now, Jamin has asked us to take telemetry on all these stunned drivers at Horizon Rush, and he says you're the best of them all. <laughs> he just says that for PR purposes. Then, we'll use science to prove if you're just being modest, no? Take the Hoonigan Kossi. Let's start with a nice, relaxed tour of the region. I won't record telemetry yet. No need to rush. I thought this was Horizon Rush. Huh. You're right, my friend. No plan. Telemetry on and step on it. Let's get out of Los Jardines. Ines, head north towards the canyon. We'll make this una aventura. In 200 yards, turn left. In 100 yards, Turn left. In 200 yards, turn left. Turn left. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Turn left. In 200 yards, turn left. Calculating route. around when it is safe to do so.
next time we could take the cable car? There's more scenery, but less drift. See the train tracks? It runs all the way down the canyon. Popular with the tourists. And with Horizon Showcase drivers, I hear. That train is quicker than you think. In 400 yards, turn right. Turn right. Hey, muy bien! Now you know the region. We can get much better telemetry. I'll call Jamin and the university and be in touch soon. Hey, mi amigo! We have our next research assignment from the university. And Jamin. Mostly Jamin. Yards, turn right. Turn right. arrived at your destination. You see, I have all this equipment to conduct geographical surveys, but we could just as easily use it to make stunt videos, no? Good advice. <laughs> Gracias, my friend. I am a scientist after all. Let's get going. I built a small route on the mountain with switchbacks and big air. Time to head down, stick to the roads for drifting, or take a shortcut for some big air. I'll be taking survey data along the way. 
you'll just worry about getting Jamin his skill chains. <laughs> Tiempo para volar! We're breaking things, but it's for science. See, si, research indicates Horizon fans do enjoy drifting. I'm sending that skill chain to the Departamento de Matemáticas. That should be enough for Horizon Rush. Even the university might get a kick out of it. Está bien. We have lots of raw data to upload to the university research server. What about Jamin? What format do you think he would prefer? Jay, just post the video and tag him. Amigo, ¿cómo estás? For our final piece of stun research, we'll be hitting the biggest danger sign in the canyon. Nice. Jay's idea? <laughs> the university, actually. Departamento de Física. Though Jay did supply the car. You'd better come down and see this. arrived at your destination. One sec! Got an idea! 
What are you? Oh, see, I like this theory. Mercedes AMG one, over a thousand horsepower. What do you think? I think the university should be measuring my heart rate right now. <laughs> hey, mine too, my friend. Welcome to Horizon Rush. Are you ready? <laughs> I have no idea what Jay said to Prima Ale to get this thing out of the auto show. He probably told her it was for science, no? For science! Now head to the danger sign! I have no idea what Jay said to Prima Ale to get this thing out of the auto show. He probably told her it was for science, no? For science! Now head to the danger sign! That was incredible, so chido. Um, I, I mean, the experiment is now complete. Guess science is good for PR. Angel, caught an editorial today. Horizon Hall of Fame shoe-in. I suspect Jamin rates it, but he makes some good arguments. How would the shoe-in feel about another Horizon adventure? <laughs> Thanks for the subtle hint, Haley. I went to a drag race meetup last night and I talked to some mechanicos about the latest rumors. I think you're gonna like this one.
a Mustang. Oh, talk about famous cars. This is the one from, ah, uh, uh, what's that movie with the detective? Uh, ha hang on, it'll come to me. I'll get to work on it and see if I can remember the name of that film. Carmen is waiting. Tell her the shots of me are actually quite good. Turn around when it is safe to do so. yards, turn right. Turn sharp left. In 400 yards, turn left. Turn left. yards. Turn left. Turn left. In 200 yards, turn right. Turn right. It is safe to do so.
400 yards. Turn left. at your destination. Something. Drop by when you can. Okay. I'll be right there. yards you will arrive at your destination. Hola, hola! Remember the old book I told you about? I went and dug it out of a box at my padre's place. I want to try and find something. And you need a driver. And I need a driver. Yeah, bien. Head for Las Barrancas. I'll explain on the way. So, what are we looking for? My favorite book is called El Camino de Sidney Wolverstone, about an explorer who traveled Mexico 200 years ago. In her book, she describes these Atlantis she found, giant statues. But there aren't supposed to be any of those near here. Giant statues? From an old book? <laughs> that aren't supposed to exist, yes. I've been piecing together clues from the book. Do you think you can get this car right into the river at the bottom of the Copper Canyon? <laughs> you really don't know me very well.
ver. Let's get pictures here. In the book, Lady Sydney's expedition makes camp here. But that's just a fun story. Yeah, the book talks about setting up camp on an island and finding the statue in the afternoon light. It would have been about this time of day. That is increíble. How has no one ever found this before? Hola, amigo. According to the book, there is a statue at El Arco de Cabo San Lucas. Wolverstone said she found it at sunset, but I thought we could try an experiment. I've worked out where the book says the statue should be. We can set out and reach the area around mid-morning and see what we can find. Or the other option is we get to El Arco just as the sun sets. If you believe the story, that's when we'll find the statue. Meet me here when you're ready to set out. We'll reach El Arco by mid-morning easily. All these adventures look amazing. Glad I don't have to pick one. at your destination. at your destination. at your destination.
All right, let's get going. The sun's setting, but we have enough time to get there along the beach. I'm excited. Do you think we'll find it? To be honest, I don't know. But I'm getting the sense that there's more to Mexico than meets the eye. was also a, uh, I can't say so the word, a botanista? A botanist, a natural historian, and a pretty decent artista. You want to talk about Las Maravillas de Mexico? Just read about her life. She believed they weren't Aztec, though, which is interesting because they look Doltec to me. But even that isn't really clear. We know so little about the Doltecs, about the whole pre-conquest era, in fact. There are so many undiscovered sites, so much forgotten history in Mexico, so many things we don't know about the people who've lived here for thousands of years. In the sun where the... Interesting. The design doesn't seem entirely Aztec, but it does remind me of Tlaloc, the rain god. <laughs> this is amazing. I'll work out where the next one should be and give you a call. Hmm. Where does the trail lead from here? South and inland. I'm sure of it. I'll be in touch. Amigo. I've been reading the diary over and over. I think Lady Sydney's expedition came inland, but I no sé, no sé, it's hard to find the evidence.
yards. Turn left. Turn left. Ok, mira, escucha. Listen to this. El pueblo de Muleje, un oasis tranquilo. If she made it to Muleje, the expedition must have traveled upriver. I still can't believe this. I used to take the book to mi escuela and my teachers told me Lady Wolverstone's adventures were as... fictional as Pedro Paramo or Sherlock Holmes. So she never got any credit? Never asked for any. She said she was writing stories for her grandchildren. But if they're true, her story deserves to be told. And you and I can prove it. Vamos, to Muleje. Let's go. We can start in the center of town and move outwards. Lady Sydney writes that a local bruja, a wise woman, said the statues were only visible on certain days in the rain because they are statues of Tlaloc. I still think it's the trees hiding it. But call me when you work out the next location, okay? Haley called to ask about the promo shots, but when I told her about the diary, she said they could wait. Come pick me up. We need to go to Aguasul. I'll be right over. In 400 yards, turn left.
200 yards. Turn left. Turn left. You have arrived at your destination. Uh-huh. Ready to head for Agua Sur? Eso bien. We might get a little wet. I'll keep the windows closed. Okay, okay, a ver. Okay. Uh, let me translate this part. The cool waters of Agua Sur quenched our thirst and inspired our hearts. In the heart of the blue water is where we found them. Is that are we looking for more than one statue, maybe? And in the heart of the blue water? What does that mean, I wonder? No, but so, so the question is, why was the diary of Lady Sydney Wolverton... ...published as fiction? She was really here. She she really had aventuras all over Mexico. Maybe she didn't want to be famous. Or maybe she didn't think anybody would believe her. Muy bien. Keep heading west. Muy bien. Ahí estás. Eh, we'll turn off the road near the waterfalls. Oh, the pictures are good. And you know, having pictures means no one can doubt us if we can find the statues again. This is big. I have our next lead. Meet me as soon as you can.
yards. Turn left. Calculating route. Turn around when it is safe to do so. In 200 yards, turn sharp left. You have arrived at your destination. I found more of Lady Sydney's papers. Original drafts of El Camino. She made pencil sketches of formations that I recognize in the Valle de las Ranas, and she sketched one of the statues. Lead the way. Okay, okay, so, uh, they had a fantastic creatures carved in rock. Uh-huh. And she found the statue early one morning. And get this. It was after a rainstorm. And this is another statue of Tlaloc. That is interesting. Let's see if we can find it. El Valle is east of Guanajuato. Mira, let's go. Valle de las Ranas means Valley of the Frogs. So I always thought the stones looked more like fantastical creatures. And Lady Sydney did too. She got sketches in her book. Imagínate, lo imagine it. Explorers like Lady Sydney came all this way with nothing but ganas y un gran amor for the wilds of Mexico. She sounds like someone I know. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I shoot cars for the festival. You do all the work. And my ride is a lot faster than her wagons, no? <laughs> we have slightly more than one horsepower. Bueno, I... I suppose reading El Diario is one of the reasons I became a photographer. I wanted to capture the same belleza she did. Today, the Valle de las Ranas is one of the most visited natural wonders in Mexico. Lady Sydney definitely knew a marvel when she saw one. But the guidebooks don't say anything about a Tlaloc statue here. Just come and meet me. In 400 yards, turn right. Turn right. Turn right. In 200 
100 yards. Turn left. at your destination. Mira, mira, I cross-referenced the final pages of the book with all the other papers I could find, and it's Egg Balam. <laughs> It has to be. Lady Sydney Wolverstone's expedition headed south to Egg Balam. Egg Balam was only properly studied in the 90s, but we know very little about it, actually. In fact, researchers are divided on exactly how much of what we know about the Toltecs is historical and how much is Aztec legend. So why are we going to Egg Balam and not Tula? Wolverstone's book doesn't call it Ekbalam, of course, but she describes a large group of buildings, perhaps 20 or more, and a large oval palace. <laughs> and listen to this, three large statues of the sort I have found in other places. Three? I'm pretty sure I only saw two. No, that's not all. She also wrote the third largest of them in the same Stone I have come to recognize lay to the south of the complex, only barely visible in the driving rain. Well, let's get there before the rain stops then. It's been fun, though I do feel like there should have been treasure at the end of it. Well, maybe... The treasure was the friends we made along the way? Ah, uh -huh. you said that, not me. <laughs> so that's that. There's one more thing. According to the book, Wolverson took a jade statue from the site, but lost it in the flash flood. I'll try and work out where that was. I'll call you as soon as I know. Now I'm intrigued. Call me, yeah? Go 
got your stang ready. Better be quicker, I'm keeping it. Hey, Angel. Sorry to bother a future Hall of Famer, but can I have your input on this next adventure? arrived at your destination. Okay, we'll check out El Arco de Cabo San Lucas and see if it matches the book. Let's get there fast. <laughs> you read my mind. Ark looking out across the Pacific in the warm light of the setting sun. I don't see it, huh? Well, let's get some lunch and try back later in the day. Oh, I told you that was the best place to eat around here. Was I wrong? Aye, <laughs> okay, we need to get going. Can you get us to the beach before the sun sets? You mean outrun the sun? Yep, yeah, I think I can do that. Even with the extra helping of Tres Leches.
right in the sun where the book said. Grab a picture of it. Right, that is freaking me out. It's right there. How did we miss it? The shadows were really deep just here earlier. Maybe we just didn't see it? But now I really want to see if we can find any more of these mysterious statues. <laughs>